What's up guys? My name is Brian Hernandez. I'm here today with Emmett Racing, uh, checking out my 1958 right hand drive bug. We, I picked this bug uh, because of its rad patina uh, transition year from the oval window to the square window. This is the first year of that. I ju we just saw a lot of potential, uh, a lot of nice surface rust that, you know, complemented uh, a slammed look. So I think that's why we picked it and uh, and why we decided to put our hands on it. I got into Volkswagens solely for the reason because of my family. I have deep, deep, deep roots with them. My grandfather back in Mexico City was a taxi driver. And from there, we just all got the bug bite and we all teamwork towards a build and we all like certain looks, as, as we can see here uh, shortly. But that's what got me into Volkswagen is that influence that the Beetle has had around the whole world and especially uh, Mexico. My favorite thing about this VW bug build has to be by far the right-hand drive conversion. It's not originally a right-hand drive car or so we converted it and went through the whole process of figuring it out and really going through it as a, as a unit. Uh, I think that's my my favorite build trait of this car was the fact that we figured out how to convert a car left hand drive to right hand drive. So the start of this build goes back to routine of COVID. We spent a good amount of, of just pure focus on this on this build, and it consisted of me, my dad, and my brother all doing it in our garage in our backyard and figuring it all out and learning a lot of cool things that we've never done before on certain builds so it was a, for sure a nice learning process and for sure have a lot of more plans to it hopefully air ride in the future hopefully some other rad accessories i can uh score but uh for sure still not done with the build so for suspension i'm running an eight inch narrow beam 17 by 7s rdw replicas all around disc brakes Extended arms by Chase Hill and a few other suspension goodies help it tuck in. You know, this is a pretty, pretty sized rim for seven inches to be this tucked in. So, and to fit it all with disc brakes was quite a challenge, but I think it, uh, it rides nicely and I'm sure it looks nicely. So, so for the rears, just a reminder, but it's completely static and uh, pulled it off by doing uh, short nose tranny uh, axles and uh, extended plates and adjustable plates from Chase Hill once again. And yeah, that's how we're able to ride this slow with 17 by sevens with, like I said, disc brakes all around um, and all static, no air ride, hopefully in the future air ride, but for now we, we ride like real men. So as we can see here, we got quite the few uh, little accessories. We start off with the Wolfgang International Safari window, the Albert hooded uh, rear view mirrors, bug deflector, little birdie, my Wolfsburg's badge, uh, bumper blades, and then uh, bumper guards. And we got this nice little uh, overlooked goodie, uh, but their lens is designated for right-hand drive cars. So they're kind of, um, the optics in the lens are shaped to give light off to the driver. So um, that was a nice little goodie I got from Samba. See that? What is that? So this was a sweet uh, college graduation gift from my dad. Sweet Bowaka rack. Um, not not too often you quite see those and it's pretty nice that I get to sport it on my car. It was a rag top car, um, all body work and uh, dash conversion was done by our good buddy Gabriel Garcia. Um, and as you can tell, it's, it's kind of hard to tell that it's not a, an original right hand drive car. And uh, I have pride to say that we converted it because it, it shows, you know, all the hard work and teamwork that went to do this. All this uh, interior setup, as we can see my headliner, uh, my dad, Alex Hernandez, knocked it out of the park. And I think he he did a real good job on, you know, sporting you know, the roots of our culture. So I think it was an, a nice part of the build and it's a cozy part of the interior too.
So these are my seats. Um, I upholstered them. We did the carpet install and uh, all TMI. And uh, I think it for sure pops the contrast in red and black outside. So uh, I think it was a good choice of color to do this brick red. On all four panels, got some six and a half speakers. And on the back, I got my 212s Type R's uh, Alpines. Got a sweet Kenwood right here. Uh, custom dash clocked for me. So when I'm driving, it's not you know too hard to mess around with uh, the stereo. Uh, but uh, got my equalizer right here right next to my uh, little accessory uh, radio here. So what we got going back here is this nice little ski rack accessory whenever I want to go skiing down Tahoe. Uh, have the retrofitted uh, W deck lid it's for an earlier model, but I just thought it fit perfectly with the car. Couldn't forget the, you know, putting my stamping B for Brian or Belgium for some haters might say. Um, it's quite the, Quite the accessory, I'd, I'd say. the bears bro <laughs> no it's because i'm like oh, that's not right that's not right all right no i know but we